What's good everyone and welcome back to another video. As you can see we have 9 rewards to open and as always we're going to jump straight into Sora Data and go through the ward rewards. If you are new around here please drop a like and subscribe as it would be greatly appreciated. So getting straight into it, it was it was heartbreak, I'm not going to lie, it was heartbreak. But it was kind of to be expected due to the fact of for most of my teams it was the last game of the season. And so expectations were quite low, chance of squad rotation was quite high, and you'll see why it was heartbreak. But going through, obviously, lots of the academy teams, um, just kind of throwing them together, which no issues here, no big scores, nothing to kind of talk about. Champion Classic Season Limited, I put this together hoping for good result. Um, only Naki Williams started, everyone else was either out of the team or as a sub, so I was like, okay no issues, not going to win a reward, we'll move on, um, Academy again, Academy again, um, Torre shot a 50, got an assist but then he got a red card, and Hanslick got a goal again, which was good to see, um, Challenger Classic is limited, just kind of the, the throwaways, no need to discuss, Premier League Classic is limited, same thing here, throwaways, just trying to put together a team that could potentially win a box. Um, another academy team Bennett Prados with a 70 the main thing to take away from there Challenger Classic Season Limited we knew Bot but I wasn't going to play didn't know whether Standard Edge would play or not play due to the, obviously their last game getting postponed they did play but no expectations here going into 220 Ragnar Aki didn't play in a 5 0 win which was a shame goalkeeper we knew wasn't going to play uh, for Kundo Malo as captain shot 100 which was nice to see Jock Deng with a 50 Thomas O'Connor came on at half time actually uh, only played 45 minutes shot 30 AA which is obviously a good score then we go into Classic Season Limited Portland Timbers lost 2-1 Evander played didn't get a dissatisfaction but got some good AA um, but Moreno without the team no dissatisfaction 150 points off the limited it is what it is we move on Cap 240, only 22 points off that lower threshold. The goalkeeper I knew wasn't going to play. Put in the team, a Poku got a goal, which is nice to see. Sorensen in a 3 all game couldn't get a decisive Kevin Ortiz came on for 45 minutes as well, shot 18 decisive. And Yuri only shot 55 in a 2 0 win. Only 22 points off getting that $2 threshold, so not bad. Then we go into the tier 5 um, Premier League. Bart didn't play, obviously, most likely going to be playing for the Netherlands, so probably got rested. Adam Webster, shot a good score. Pascal Gross, did what he normally does. Danny Welbeck, okay. Edinburgh, not great. 80 points of reward. Once I knew Bart wasn't playing, no expectations. Play Man United, lost 2 0. Then we've got the Rosario boys and Girotti. Girotti couldn't do anything in a 2 0 win at home, which was a shame. Lavera's scoring really, really well at the moment, so very happy with that. Lost their clean sheet within 15 minutes. Team was dead. Only 72 points off a reward, quite surprisingly. But yeah, team was dead after that. Um, going into All Star, bit of frustration here. Um, makes some max max sense. Prevot didn't start. He was expected to start for OH Laven, but um, Layson was in the team, so kind of died. But then, and Rapi did well, and Paolo Diaz did well. I was thinking maybe I could grind a tier five. Lewis Morgan played, um, couldn't do what was needed, and same thing with Yumi Chara, couldn't do what was needed either in the game, which is a shame. Then we go into the first kind of heartbreak, which is Contender Classic Season Limited. Four decisive actions here, Usami with a big 85, Akuno with a good score of 60, just through AA, 90 minutes played. Then obviously Kim Jim won with the clean sheet which is nice and Tanaka with 10A and a goal which was good and Watanabe couldn't do anything at all within this game which is such a shame because I was only 15 points off for A tier 5 had I captained Usami or Tanaka who for the previous two weeks Tanaka was captain and then Usami was captain we would have got tier 5 but it is what it is we get a box then moving in to the next heartbreak which is champion classic season limited this was the throwaway team that I put together and Julian ended up starting, got a clean sheet, shot me a 95 score, 
Danny Vivian ended up playing as well in a 2 0 win, shot at 71, which was good. DeMarcos, second best score on the team with that captaincy bonus, shooting me 132. Eric Martel lost in a 4 1. He was the first person to actually play. Um, lost in a 4 1 game, only 41 points. And then we didn't have a starting striker. Manuel Benson did play the last game as a sub, which would have got me 25 points, which would have given me a tier 5. But you think if I pick a player that plays, we're getting 36. If they score a decisive, we're getting a tier 3. Heartbreak. Shame. It is what it is. But then the next heartbreak, which is where we do get our reward for this week, is this lineup here. Finally, it happened where FC Kaiserslautern put in a shift at home. They got absolutely huge scores in a 5 0 win. Crow with an 80. Great. Redondo with the assist. Great. Marlon Ritter shot only surprisingly an 82 after three decisive actions. Great. Tomiak with only the 60. And he did come off in the 66th minute. So he would have probably worked his way up to an even better score. Um, tackle one. One, three duels. All he needed was another tackle or two inceptions to get that double double, you know. Um, absolute heartbreak. And Elvedi just didn't play. Just just was completely out of the team. No news on this. And you look, you think, if I pick a player that plays, we're getting a tier three, which I haven't had in a few weeks. Would have been lovely. And then if we look at the actual team themselves, I have got all these players. If I put Hanslick in this team, 64. Rasso, 64. So on and so forth. Because I've already got a defender, I can put anyone else in here. Now, had I not put already in, and I put in one of the other defenders, Torre shoots a 50. Kevin Krause shoots a 54. So when we look at it, with the XP that I've got on them, we're getting a tier 2, which would have been my first ever tier 2. Which is absolute heartbreak, but absolute shift in from the boys to end the season excited to play with this stack for next season um, and excited to see what happens with regards to the season itself with all my players with lots of transfer news so going in we do have a tier 5 like I said got some coins and then we have got I think it's 7 boxes so tier 5 literally the lowest end tier 5 so I'd be very surprised he is Korean. So we do have some summer utility. And he is an under 23. Which I'm not complaining about. Lee Yo Seb. Let's have a look at you. Lee Yo Seb. Plays for Su1 FC. He is 24 now. Last sale was 75 pence. Not what we want to see, but kind of what is expected. No game time ever. No game time ever. A very poor, very, very poor tier 5. Expected to not be in the team again. If anyone knows anything about this guy, then please obviously let me know. Um, but, yeah, hopefully, with him still being quite young, he will... Um, He'll get into the team, you know. We'll see what happens. But to end off the video, obviously could have had a few more um few more rewards, which is a shame. But we've got seven boxes. We did, if you did watch the previous video, actually win a card out of my rivals rewards. So if you haven't seen that already, go check it out. We have another seven boxes, another seven opportunities for one card but seven boxes see how many level ups we get most likely it's going to be obviously seven due to my absolute lack of doing well within boxes i'm probably the most unlucky person when it comes to these boxes but three down this is officially the halfway mark with box number four we are loving the level ups Box number five. Right, the chances are getting slimmer and slimmer with every time we do this. Oh, that took a little while. I got excited then. Last box of the day. Last chance to get a card. This is probably coming up too close to 40. 
box is open now. Still yet to get anything. Mm, still yet to get anything. Wow. Absolute heartbreak. But that is what it is. No complaints from me. I'm going to complain. Game's a joke. How people open. I'm watching people get rare cards out of these limited boxes. I watched one guy open seven boxes. Got four cards. Clearly, so I do not like me. And they want me to invest more money in this game. Which is not happening at this current point in time. But, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope everyone is having a great day. I will be coming back at you with a video tomorrow going through my lineups for the weekend and then like i said if you are new around here drop a like on the video and subscribe as it would be greatly appreciated and i'll see you guys in the next video